Hi, my name is Lance, and like most people, I eat cereal to give me the energy to start my day. Now, energy is a very interesting property. It can neither be destroyed or created, it can only be transformed. That is the law of conservation of energy. As you can tell, I'm pretty good at basketball, but what does that have to do with energy? When I drop the basketball, do you notice how it does not bounce back to the height it was dropped from? The same goes for a tennis ball. When the basketball bounces, it loses momentum by transferring energy elsewhere. Some of the energy is transferred to make the sound of the bounce. That's why the ball is unable to bounce back to the height it was dropped from. So I wonder what would happen if the tennis ball was dropped on top of the basketball. So the tennis ball bounced a lot higher than it did when it was dropped by itself. So why did that happen? It is important to note the size difference between these two balls. As the basketball bounces, it compresses and stores potential energy which is transferred to the tennis ball. The basketball also has a larger mass and that means it has more momentum. This is also transferred to the tennis ball and that's how it's able to shoot off into the sky increasing its velocity and where it gets its extra energy. Now I wonder what would happen if I were to bounce three balls on top of each other. This does take a few goes, so make sure all three balls are okay, directly works. above each other. Here we have just learnt about the conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be transformed into one form into another. Until next time, 